Hey YouTube! In this installment I would like to discuss more of the fundamental issues in the entire sign language processing pipeline. I'll start by following up last episode. In the last episode I discussed what pose estimation can do to replace video processing. However, I only discussed 2D pose estimation as given by uh, models like OpenPose. The problem with 2D pose estimation is that signs that are the same can be interpreted differently in 2D. For example, if I'm holding my hand like this, I am doing the number 4. And even if I'm turning it left or right or up or down, this is still the sign for number 4 in some sign languages. The 2D representation of this hand is different for each of these movements. Although the 3D representation stays the same if we only look at the angles between every two joints. So there is the first problem, which is how to get 3D pose estimation from 2D pose estimation. Some researchers did work on this um, in two different uh, ways. The first one is called inverse kinematics. We know what a hand is, we know what the model is, we know what fingers there are and what's the range of motion. So the question to ask is, what angles should the hand be in such that it projects in 2D to that exact projection that we got from open pose or to a similar projection. The other way to tackle this problem is by using deep learning. Researchers from Facebook have actually worked on that where given a sequence of 2D pose estimation, they give us an output a 3D uh, pose estimation. Although their work is focusing on the entire body, uh, well, the most uh, important part for sign language, as I said before, is the hands and the face. Moving on to a problem with grammar. Let's take, for example, the sentence, how many children are coming? In British Sign Language, it is signed, children, coming, how many? Well, in American Sign Language, it is signed, children, how many, coming? We must always take into account the grammar of the sign language and not signing like spoken grammar. Diving even deeper into this issue, there is a problem with hearing signers where they, instead of um, taking the spoken language and translating it into sign language, they, for some small uh, phrases, translate it into signed language. Uh, the difference is that um, they will just sign the sequence of words as it appeared. Some conferences who recognize this as an issue put an actually deaf interpreter on stage near the person who is speaking, um, where the deaf uh, signer looks at a hearing interpreter that is in the crowd and signing for them, such that um, the hearing signer might sign um, in sign language or not as authentic as they could, while the deaf signer would sign as authentic as they could to their own native language. And I guess that's it for this week. I hope that next time I'll have more visuals or more working parts that I can show. Um, until next time!